The father of this 16-year-old boy stabbed in the head says his son will die. I'm Bill Shermer. I'm Quinicia Fraser. The suspect in this case is a 15-year-old boy. For now, he's held on first-degree felony assault, and he is being charged as an adult. 16-year-old Clayton McHugh is on life support at this hour. He was critically injured on South 182nd Avenue, just blocks from Millard West High School. KET News Watch 7's Jessica Perez is live in studio with the breakdown. Clayton McHugh's father, Monty, describes Clayton as a peaceful person who enjoyed going to the gym. He says his family will meet tomorrow to decide their next steps. Monty says his son has no brain function. 16-year-old Clayton McHugh was found badly hurt in the parking lot of Living Faith United Methodist Church Wednesday night. Police got the call just before 9 p.m. McHugh had a bad head injury that police say was the result of an assault. We saw police at the scene examining a silver sedan in the parking lot and evidence left on the ground. According to the father, Monty, a fight started nearby at the home of McHugh's girlfriend and moved into the church parking lot. That's where Monty McHugh says his son was jumped, kicked and stabbed in the neck. The father shared a photo with us of his son in the hospital. It's too graphic for us to share with you here, but the 16 year old is on a ventilator with two black eyes and injuries to his cheek and forehead. We only know of one arrest in this case, Christopher DeLong Jr. He's 15, but Douglas County prosecutors have charged him as an adult. He's being held at the Douglas County Youth Center for felony assault and use of a weapon. Again, Monty McHugh says the family will meet tomorrow to decide how they'll move forward with his son. Prosecutors told us the 15-year-old arrested will be in court Monday. Back to you. Very tragic. Jessica, thank you.